Hi friends, Joanna here. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I just did a video a couple days ago showing you about my pod. It was pretty filled up. My scrap pod. Uh, we had tons and tons of fabrics everywhere filled. This was filled to the top. Lots of small pieces. I've separated the smaller pieces in this pile. So once I empty out my bigger pod, which I do have some bigger remnant pieces in here, but I used these last, so I have a bunch of stuff in here. And what I did was, once I took the stuff out of the hanging pod, I organized them by color the best that I could into these um, plastic zip envelopes from the Dollar Tree. So I have these and I have some pieces over here. This is a big pile. So as you guys can see, there is lots of stuff that can fit in there. And I actually had more in there because I already got started without you. And then I was like, oh, I should show everybody. I had a bunch of circles that I had cut from my Sizzix here. And I have a ton of, not a ton, but enough of some two inch squares that I had put in here. So I got a lot cut already between the squares and the circles. So I just want to share with you using up some scraps using your Sizzix. So this is the Big Shots. If you have one of the older models, it works just as fine. So today I want to show you using, I have this Sizzix. There's five different sizes here. This is the Sizzix Originals. So... Um, let's see here. I've got to clean this out. Sometimes the fabric gets stuck in the plate. So we have these small pieces, right? Now, like I have this weird strip from when you're cutting out from your Cricut or any time of, you know, scraps that you have. These small pieces are perfect to put right over the die. Right? You can tell I use that one a lot, right? So just taking your pieces like you get these weird shaped pieces you know odd shaped pieces and so today I'm just actually going to take my scraps my small pieces that's where the Sizzix is um, quite good to have um, just to be able to use your scraps whatever size fits in here Let's see. I love using uh, my Sizzix for these smaller pieces. My scraps up. So this is right now is just a mishmash of scraps, right? I just kind of put them on all over. I'm no there's no cutting or measuring. Pop in your your uh, plastic plate here. Run it through a few times. My uh, craft table looks like a mess. There's scraps everywhere. Okay, so we remove our plate. We got a, we got some nice. This one's a little wrinkled, but we got some pretty good little circles, right? And this, the rest of these scraps are gonna go now into my stuffing bin. I showed you guys the video of um, the pet bed that I made just from scraps inside and out. So we have some more circles and just keep doing this until you use up, you know, a lot of your scraps. So we got a bunch and this is fast and easy. This doesn't take much time. This one got a little weird, but so when this happens, when like you have a piece that didn't cut all the way, maybe from a um, bigger one, I just pop it on to, this one didn't cut out well from this one. So I'm just gonna pop it on the next smaller size and then put it on there, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, we are not wasting. So yeah, I have these weird pieces from my uh, Cricut machine. So, let's see here. And you can usually put like a few of them on here. 
Let's see here. That's not big enough. So I'm going to pop this on here. And again, you're just, you know, putting your little, your small pieces on here and you're still able to make stuff with them. So that's really awesome. Let's see here. We'll pop that on there. Uh, just some different odd fabrics to put on here. Yeah, and they're overlapping, so that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're just going to keep doing that. We're just going to keep running through. So the whole thing is, this is a great way to use up small pieces as well. Right? So I'm going to add these to my, my little thing here. That one really got wrinkled. So, yeah, a little storage, keep them in here by size, and let's see what we got. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies, are, and this uh, smoke in the air from the fires has been terrible. So we got a bunch here, we got three here. So, let's see, we've got a couple of our orange ones, so this one didn't, these didn't cut out, actually this was left over from this fabric, but that's okay. So we got a couple of our oranges, how pretty. So that's it, I just wanted to share that with you today, this is what I've been working on today, uh, working on my um, scrap pod and thinking of different ways to use up smaller pieces of fabrics. So this again is the Sizzix Original Circle, right? So I did these squares and I'm also gonna be using some of this, um, this Big Z Sizzix, I'm gonna make some flowers. This is um, a really nice one from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to be making um trying to cut out some leaves because these are perfect for any floral anything appliques uh embroidery um slow stitching <clears throat> and the flowers too and i have hearts which this is also a part of the uh, sizzix originals there's four different heart sizes on here if you could see that so that is my um to do for the day. Let me know what you guys think. Please comment if you think that that's a great idea. And uh, I have lots of stuff to do. I gotta get busy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I will be talking to you soon. Thank you.